Alright, so that was a simple one. Um, um no, that's uh, finding my voice. My voice well. Anyways, so what's going on YouTube? So welcome to the back of the video. So today, guys, I want to take you through um how I edit or rather how I make songs using Adobe Audition. On top of this, this uh is one of the questions. This is one of the video that I want to be answering some assumptions. I thought no, I'm answering some assumptions, but I thought that that could be maybe a minor kind of a little video that I can just you know do in a minute. So the only thing that I will add to do is just you know just to answer the assumptions based on the very 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 you know, popular question that has been asked by a lot of you guys. How I am much into songs this I mean this day or something. But anyways, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Calvin Sion. If, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share with your fellow friends. So I want to answer a question uh, some of the assumptions you see in this video, but. Well, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make the songs you sing at an audition. So, first of all, you guys should know that you know, I'm not a singer, I'm not um, uh, an artist, that is. But uh, for some time, I find it you know, just reasonable to you know, just maybe record something, record a song or something. So, I'm just going to be recording, you not know, telling how I record using Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition is one of the software that is produced by Adobe Software Company. And I, I really feel it's so much comfortable as compared with other softwares. For example, FL Studio, you know, Logic Pro. Well, no, Logic Pro only works when you have Mac. You know that Mac, you can only be able to use. You can't be able to use a Logic Pro, that is. So anyways, guys, I don't want to talk much. Let us wrap into, into, into this um, video and let's get it started. So right here, on my PC right here, so I'm gonna put it like this one. The table is too little, you know. So right here is my PC, and um, I got Adobe software already running on the Wii and the on the on the on the laptop. That is. So I wanna, the first thing I want to I do is just go ahead and click File, New, go ahead to Multi Track Session. I always use Multi Track Session. So let us just give this um like uh, I don't know, I don't know name. Let's say. Um, video sample video sample like that it's okay and so i'm gonna create you know some files some 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 layers of, of recording you know so the first thing that i want to use is uh, i want to go ahead and uh, insert some beat maybe which i want to use i got some couple of beats here so let me just go ahead and click this one here and drag and drop it to adobe you know and that's the first thing you know so make it up to the end like that that's the first thing. So the second thing that I want to do because this one here is the first. This is the instrumental. So you can you can you can rename it if you want to. You can rename it. But for me, this one is my track one, so it's an instrumental. And the next thing that I want to use see here, I have a couple of you know layers. So the next thing that I want to use is uh, I want to go ahead and click um, layer two. And Whenever you're recording, whenever you're recording, make sure that you're recording in mono. Whenever you're recording any music, make sure that you're recording in mono. Why? Because if you record in mono, you are not going to experience a lot of noise and you're not going to experience the the instrumental in the song, in the audio just song, in the audio just sound, you know. So go ahead and click here, then say mono, then choose your mic, whenever your mic is. So mine is mic two, microphone two. So my mic today is going to be, let me just show you guys real quick. I'm going to be using some earphone here, just to record for the experiment on this video, you know. That's how I always record these things. That's why I always say they ain't that much, you know, quality in terms of audio, but the content I hope is always uh, much, much better. So right now I got my whatever, I got my earphone. So I want to play this real quick without inserting the audio, without inserting the earphone. So let us stop the 
let us stop that so let's go ahead and insert the earphone what are the headphones if you have headphones you can even use headphones if you have microphone you can go ahead and just show your microphone it doesn't matter at all so once i've clicked you know i've selected my microphone i'm going ahead to you know these layers here consist of but when you have um, plugins or whether you have auto tunes you can do it to put just to insert to make your voice so so much nice so for me i have auto tune so i'm going to go ahead and um, click right here then come back here vst2 i have an effect here with an auto tune so i'm going to go ahead and use auto tune right auto tune mm -hmm. c major right so i'm going to go ahead and just leave it a c major just like that then click r then you can go to record something so let's try and record something a little bit i mean it's not going to be perfect just a fumbling once because it's not going to be perfect that's showing you guys how i record all songs you know whatever in adobe audition right let's try let's give it a try you know <laughs> quite something let's go ahead and listen because now you guys are not able to you couldn't listen to anything that i was uh, i was recording let's listen to this repeat that's our you know whenever you are let me mention something whenever you're out of key the other team will detect that you're out of key so your voice will be like no, like for example, this one I was out of key because now this song is I only I know that it is on G major, G major, but then I've I've I've, I've sung using you know C minor. So we want to go ahead and change the auto tune to be in C major. Let's click here, come back here, uh, say auto tune, can change it to be in C in the G major, right? So it's G major, then say boom, you know, because I'm for sure I know this one is in G major. Let us listen to it real quick. Let's try, let's give it a test. This is how we test it. Set it VST, uh, Andreas, no, no, set VST3, effect, Andreas, pitch key. That's how you know um, you are, let's do this one. That's how you know the, the, the whatever, the, the key in which that that instrumental is all about listening right oh actually this is f sharp minor f sharp minor right so that means that we're gonna make our audio to be in f sharp minor you know so come back here let's delete that auto tune come back here so it is f sharp minor right this is f sharp minor so we're gonna be singing f sharp minor so come back here say f sharp then make it minor you know that's when your voice gonna be you know, clear oh my bad my bad my bad my bad my bad my bad i know the other the, the whatever is now is not responding right now i don't know why we're gonna just it's behaving like this because i've done several things you know so we're gonna restart it really quick and come back again you know because for sure I know it's gonna be like this. Let's close the program and come back once more. You know, open. Just click in search video sample. All right, so that is it. So we're gonna be coming back here. Say VST effects and where's auto tune access and say f sharp 
closing F sharp minor. So F sharp minor, put there, right? Remember to put this in mono, you know, and select a microphone. That is how we do it, you know. All right, so let's give it some, whatever, some, 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 some light clip, you know. Record and hit. Oh, no. simple as such so let's listen to it real quick because i know i don't have speakers that you guys can be able to listen you know oh no, 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 no. so it's in f sharp so we call it in f sharp Basically, that is it all about, all about you know, audio You can be able to add multiple and multiple of samples of you know, the way you want it to be in your song. Regardless, you know, you can be able to add many things. A lot of things that you want to add in all the tracks, you know, the tracks are unlimited. If the tracks was, like for example, if you read mix, just click, right click, then say add track, add mono. You're going to be adding more and more and more tracks, you know. That's how tracks are you know, added in Adobe Audition. Very, very much simple. That's, I mean, it is just very, very simple. And if you have a number of VSTs or plugins that you can go to use, for example, for me, I have a number of plugins you now. I have a number, a number, number of plugins. I have VST. If I, can, if I go to VST, I have Andreas, I have a band, I have Isotope. And um, at the Isotope, I have Vocal Doubler. This is Vocal Doubler is one of the VSTs that can be able to know increase or rather to double the voice. You know, if you want, you see, if you want a voice to be doubling, like you know, if, for example, if you're singing in soprano and you want your voice to add some alto inside, it's gonna be doing that as simple as such. Anyway, you can go ahead and you know, just go to I have some waves. Waves is also one of the you know finest or fine whatever VSTs or plugins that can be can make your voice really, really nice. Anyway, here I got you know, a lot of you know, when I go to AutoTune Pro, AutoTune Pro, you know, this is one of the this is one of the auto tunes or other plugins that make just makes everything works works in the correct way that you know in the correct way that your voice can never go missing you know your voice can, you can go ahead and if you don't really find whatever you want in these settings right here you can go ahead and click advance and find everything this is an auto tune that is um, professional that is used by you know uh, for example uh, these big musicians you know. All these big musicians, they use auto-tunes, you know, most, most of them use auto-tunes, most of them use waves, you know, so just as simple as such, nothing much difficult in recording big music, so I'm going to be, uh, maybe at the end of this video, I'm going to be leaving, I'm going to be leaving one of my songs that I just released today, I just dropped it today, you know, I just recorded it today, so I'm going to be leaving it in at the end of this video i think and that is how much aware i can go to tell about adobe audition and uh, all about how i record my music so assumption number one why are you into music you know i'm not into music because i am a musician i'm all i'm just making you know music when i'm at my own free time when i don't have you know something to do so that's how I can be able to spend my while, my leisure time, you know, just by making some vocals, just by, you know, just playing around with these VSTs, you know. And that's how, so I'm not either way an artist or something. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed. And next time, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know what you want, want me to show you in Adobe Audition because now this is just like a wrap over. Let me know what you want me to tell you during a... In Adobe Audition, and I'll be able to now tell you what exactly Adobe Audition.
does and anything you, you want to know and know about Adobe Audition. Anyway, guys, thank you so much, and it is until next time. I'm out. Peace. Take a picture